Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do something which I've actually created myself, uh, I would say about three or four years ago. And um, when I do education, so I educate for Walla, which is, uh, um, it's actually, I must admit, when I started doing hair, I thought to myself, I would never want to teach anybody. It absolutely does my head in. I, I, I just didn't like it. People were too slow. Where now I teach, what, 12 courses a year for Walla all over the UK, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think that saying that when you teach, you actually learn more, I absolutely adore it. And I go to salons, and it's really good fun. You meet people, and it's such a... It's such good exposure just to, just to be out there and meeting all these fabulous people because there's so many, so, so, so great, creative and talented people all over. And it's really nice to go see them in like their home setting, you know, where some of them have been in the salons from, I don't know, from the minute they started, you know. In our salon, we've got someone that's been with us for 29 years, which is, well, you know, that's almost older than what I am. We wouldn't tell him that. This is my lovely model, Dorothy. Dorothy Dulux, that's what I call her. She's a sexy blonde, I would say, all the way from North London. She likes it big, she likes it bouncy, she likes it fabulous. So one of the things that I always teach when I go to do my Walla courses or all those fabulous events is something called the knot plait. Now, many of you may do a variation of this, um, I'm going to show you my take on it and then you can tell me, I hope you like it, and then please do leave your comments at the bottom. Um, the knot plait something I purely by luck stumble across or on to. So, so many of the boys and girls I've taught have asked me, how do you create this and can you do a YouTube tutorial to show us how you've done this? So what I've done is it's taken me forever to do this, but I have gotten my lovely model and she's going to help us to create, recreate the knot plait for you and show you variations of a style that you can use this with. I hope you enjoy. Well, as we just had the festive season, I thought which better way than to get into the spirit of Christmas and create a little bit of festive hair. So at the minute, I'm on the lookout for the best sea salt um, spray you can get. At the minute, I'm using the Perfectly Undone from Tresemme, the sea salt spray. I've used this, admittedly, maybe four times before. The, I'm not going to give a critique on this yet. I'm working with about four of them, and what I'll do is I'll give you some honest feedback about my results for them. What I've done is I've just kind of sprayed it in everywhere in the hair, just to give it that little bit of a tousled, quite rough, beach and ready, sexy San Diego, maybe Santa Monica look even. Um, right, so let's get started. So the first thing what you do is, is decide where do you want to place the plaits. So I want to put the plaits all around the back through there to create almost like a, a waterfall effect. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to adjust my lovely model, take a section through the front, bring it over to the back. So the trick is this, if your client is looking towards the mirror this way, you put your fingers like this, swing it from underneath the hair like that, twist, bring it around, and then the back hair goes in between the fingers. Shall we do that again? So have the hair in your hand like that. It's almost like having the P sign. So P sign like that, P sign goes underneath, grab the hair, this hair comes in between the fingers, and now we add hair to this. Take the hair like that, then pull it through that little loop, making a little loop, both fingers through the loop, and then put that hair back in between the fingers. Now we're gonna add a little bit more hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you the method first, and then we'll do the back. And then pull it through, to there, and you take this hair, add it through. Let's do it one more time. I know, you know, this does, this sometimes get people a bit huff and a puff. Yeah. Let's do this one more time. What we're gonna do is a section the hair through the front, and then what you do is you take your piece fingers like that, and you stick that th behind the hair like that, grab the hair, and pull it through. So you'll see a little loop. You see, it's quite a natural movement. Pull that hair in between the fingers, and then you add hair. A bit like a French braid, you add hair to it. Pull that through, but don't pull it through completely. So you add that little loop again to put that through. 
add hair to it. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this up a little bit just to kind of show you the effect before we do the back. Add the hair to the back, put it through, make a loop, and you can do this as neat or as textured as you like. I want this look to be quite beach wave. Um, that's why the sea salt spray as well. And it will give you a really lovely base to work on. It's fantastic for people with finer hair as well. Because it's just going to give you a beautiful thick texture. You can really use extensions with this as well. Which makes it look just delish. So what I'm going to do is just pin this. So what I've done at the end, I've just kind of pulled it through like that. And then you can start opening up this plait. How much deconstruction you want is completely up to you. I quite like it quite big and fat for all purposes. You see, and that's the kind of effect you get. It's beautifully done. And what I'm going to show you now is how I've done the back to give you that half up, half down. See you in a bit. So now that we've finished, I'll tell you, I'll run you through the steps of what I've created. I've started with my sections and I've plaited it from e both sides backwards to the middle. And then I've kind of connected the two plaits through the middle. If you wanted to put extensions in, what you can do is, I normally do my plait first because then it gives me a better um, indication, oops, a little bit of a sideward stray hair, a better indication where we can put the extensions in. So if I put the extensions in, I will lift the hair up through there, the clipping extensions of course, and then pop the clipping extensions that, and it gives you all that beautiful length running through the hair. Um, with these knot plaits, you can put flowers in there, you can put diamantes in there. If it's for a bridal event, you can definitely do something more like that. If it's more for like a festival, you can put a beautiful headpiece on, and this still keeps you the hair down so it looks absolutely gorgeous and flowy. If you like what I've done, please leave your comments and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and share it. If you've got anything else you would like me to show you, please do leave your comments at the bottom. See you next time.